What's the word, y'all? It's your boy Jay Sykes, and I'm back. You know what I'm saying? And if y'all looking at my screen, right, y'all see these little uh these little pumps that's coming up out these uh these speakers, right? Well, uh, these are shock waves. You feel what I'm saying? And I'm about to teach y'all how to make those. So let's just make a new composition, 1080 by 1080, and let's call it energy. So now inside of that composition, I'm gonna grab me a new solid, right? And once I make a solid, I'm gonna grab the ellipse tool. Make sure you have your layer highlighted and then you double click the ellipse tool. And now you have your circle, right? You want to hit M on your keyboard. You're going to see a mass layer. You're going to just change your feathering to like 55 and your expansion like negative 35, negative 30. However you feel. If you're doing it to the beat, you might be doing it a little different than I am. But your keyframes should all line up the same. You feel what I'm saying? So let's make a keyframe at mask expansion, right? And then we're going to come back and let's bring this all the way down until we don't see it. You feel me? And that's at about around 540. All right. So now that we got that, let's duplicate this mask. Let's hit you on our keyboard and then let's change the second mask to like subtract. And as you see, it's coming out as a ring. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag out these two points. And to make this thicker right on that bottom mask, we're going to bring this back even more. So maybe about 190 something like that and what you want to do after that is highlight all of those keyframes and easy ease if this is way too slow for you you can just click your last three keyframes drag them back fill me and you're good like that if you want to like transition this out make sure like this little circle disappears you can press t on your keyboard but i'm gonna press u and then t and then make a keyframe there press u so i can see everything and then i'm just gonna bring this down to zero right if you want, you can do things like duplicate it. It's you. You feel what I'm saying? Beat it up so you can have more than one going in there. Yeah, after you do that, you see how this is named energy? You can now drag that John back into your main composition. And like I said, I don't have a song behind this. So you guys might have to do this a little different. You might have to make your keyframes closer so it's faster. You feel me? But how you get this in here now is a... Uh, you just make it a 3D layer. You wanna click it. And if you see this track, you know you definitely gotta do this a little different. 3D layer, boom. We got the speaker like that. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm gonna make an adjustment layer. And I'm gonna hide the energy. I'm gonna add a displacement map, feel me? And then for the displacement map, I'm gonna use the energy as the, as the displacer, you know? And as you can see, we get a little difference in our screen, but we must play with the horizontal and the vertical numbers that you see right here as you can see it doesn't do anything right that's because we didn't pre-compose our clip so with this still here 3d doing what it's doing you just want to click it pre-compose it and now as you can see boom it's happening in the place that we that we want it to so yeah now that you have your uh your little wave right you know you can do a lot of things like adding a puddle so, you feel me i just really wanted to give y'all the gist of it gave y'all the basics so now y'all take it y'all run with it and y'all do what y'all do but anyway man if you like this drop a like comment subscribe i'm gonna be back tomorrow with another one much love